Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So I thought I'd just come on and have a play with some Project Life cards and turn them into um, toppers for projects later on. And it's number 81 off my 100 thing challenge. I just realised I might need some scrap paper, so I'm just going to grab some. Actually, no, I'll just be lazy and get a whole pad. <laughs> if I can find a pad. <laughs> If I need it. I will. I will find a pad. Right. Because I want to use this pad up. So, let's just see. Um, to the side of me I've got some... I'm trying to get this right now. Um, little bits that have been given to me in Happy Mail and swaps. And then I've got some die cuts and the paper. And I thought I'd just make some toppers up to use later on in cards or something and as I've mentioned before I really want to use up these Project Life cards I I mean I might have shown them before but I have a huge watch so and I want to eventually get some different ones because I do like making them into toppers and I use them in my journals and stuff and I just am so sick of these ones and um, I've got some die cuts that I've cut or been given to me um, but I just want to come on and make some little toppers this one says have a good day and um, this one and this one from were from Sana um, I don't know I just want to make sort of like I suppose cluster toppers really I'm not sure what you'd call them but I just want to come on and use up some project life cards so, um, oh, I didn't get any buttons out. Just bear with me, I'm just going to get some buttons out. I'm trying to use those up as well. I'm just going to go for um, the creamy, sort of clear ones because then at least I know they go with everything. And I will get my glue if I can find it. There it is, for when I add the buttons. Oh, I'm all out of breath now. But yeah, I've got loads of just little die cuts and things that people have given me or I've cut out. I quite like that one, so let's start with that. And then I keep my little bits and things in that box that I made. Somebody said it looks like a cake. I suppose it does a bit. Um, I think that was Stacy. So I have lost a couple of subscribers, but I am still over the 500, so the challenges um, will obviously still go ahead. I wouldn't, even if I went under the 500 again, I wouldn't be unfair and not do the draw. It's not me. But, um, yeah, so, obviously, <laughs> I've got a bit dull. I know I haven't done many crochet videos, but I was doing a lot of crochet when I didn't have my craft room and now I've got my craft room back I'm sort of doing this in the day and my crochet in the evening and I've had a few evenings just where I felt a little bit I don't know a bit off right, let's see if I can tuck that under there that's better yeah where I've just felt a little bit I don't know not quite right so um I haven't done much crochet because there's a shawl I'm doing the virus shawl and I could do that in about a week, but it's just taken a while. And I think, well, if that's how things are at the moment, that's how things are. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry. But I just want to come on, have a little play, have a little chat. I could do most of my videos. So it just means I've got toppers that I can quickly add to something. Um... Like, even if I want to sell it, I can't... Yeah, see, I can't sell die cuts. So, like, this die cut here, I can't sell die cuts anymore because of copyright laws. So, I just... I have met... I think I've mentioned that in another video. So, it has to be on a card. So, I now, if I put that on a card, I can sell it. So, I can understand it. So, that's at least one done. It'd be nice if I could get through this little wodge before my camera runs up. Obviously, I'm not going to worry about one side because that would be stuck down but this side I obviously want to cover and this is paper that I got ages ago 
and I've just sort of kept a few sheets and um, keep thinking because it's still like in a pad form if I only have a couple of sheets left I take it out and put it in my um scrap box but it's just oh, just don't know where <laughs> I've only got about just trying to think four paper pads all in like sort of slowly running down and stuff so it'd be quite nice to use up some of the older stuff and then get some newer stuff to use because some of this paper I've had a while and I'm sick of looking at it now it's like yeah I really don't want to look at it anymore so I just want to say thank you for the positive comments because on one of my videos I was a bit concerned whether to carry on doing like a glue video and stuff like that um but I had nice feedback so it perked me up a bit um just trying to think what I want to use with this one I'm not going to worry if things hang over a bit because obviously it'll all get stuck down but this is a die cut that came to me in some happy mail it's a really lovely die trouble is I can't remember who gave it to me otherwise I'd ask them what make it was and see if I could um get it I have got a lacy heart die myself yeah this is the this is the one I've got it's a stamping up one Ooh. yeah let's pop that on there but yeah it's quite handy to have some toppers already done and I can just go ah oh, what have we got that we could pop on top of there I don't want to make them too mixed meadery I don't know is that a word crumbs I've got all sorts so we've got that in the middle because I'm not sure how I'm going to use these yet whether there be toppers I use for myself or even put like white paper on the back and make it into like a little note mini postcard I suppose to send out to someone or yeah I haven't fully decided yet what I want to actually I'm not going to use that wet glue because it takes ages to dry and I've got my um, glue tops whether there be cards that I put on Etsy so who knows what I'm going to do yet anyway, I just want to have fun making the top process open my button jar but I like to put buttons in the middle of these little flower things I got so let's get some glue dots for that so thank you for all your comments um Carol, Carol with a K I'm sorry you've been not very well and um I hope you're on the mend now. I've just stuck that glue dot on the one I just put on. Yeah, so sorry you haven't been well. And I keep putting it in the same place. What is it with me? I don't need three in that area. Right. <laughs> okay, I think that's got enough dots on it now. But these dots are really good. They're the sticks too. I find them really, like, that's not going to budge unless you deliberately rocked it ropped it off, ripped it off. Some of them have already got nice like quotes on if I can get hold of one. Like that says enjoy your day. So I probably would just add a little something down there I think. What about oh yeah that's quite sweet. Let's use these glue dots. Sometimes I use wet glue but I'm just not in the mood for wet glue my sinuses are really killing me this I love the summer and stuff but when it's windy and it blows all the pollen around my nose I mean I have sinus problems all year round but this is just driving me bonkers right let's use let's use some more of this paper up yeah so it's making me feel like I've got a cold when I haven't so I'm apologize if I sound a bit croaky I'm just really allergies are really playing up today so um normally I'd take a painkiller and have a snooze but instead I ended up having an unplanned lie-in I just didn't wake <laughs> I was out for the count so obviously my body needed that I didn't get up to half ten and then of course my breakfast was late so I've had a late lunch and <laughs> yeah it's sort of just thrown me a bit off but 
I don't mind. I think if that's what my body needed, that's what it needed, and I will listen to it. Oh, let's take that out. I might as well forget where that is. Right, so this was sent to me, and it says, what can I do when the night comes and I break into stars? Oh, what can I do when the night... Yeah, that's quite sweet. A little quote somebody sent, so... I might just pop that straight in the middle and keep it quite simple that one. I could get some, um, might get some bling out if I can get this off. Let me just grab a sheet of bling, I won't be a moment, or a sheet of pearls. Aha! So I've got a sheet of um, pearls out that I got from the range ages ago. I don't know if I mentioned in one of my videos, but my poor mum, um, she was, it sounds funny, but I don't mean it in a nice way. She was attacked um, by a bird. She was hanging, had finished, um, I don't know if she'd finished mowing the lawn or putting washing out. I can't remember. I know she was out there Oh, that's not straight. Doing something. And she came round the corner to come back into the kitchen. And this bird attacked her out of um, nowhere. It just came out and sort of flew into her, making her fall back. And she's, bless her, broken her um, ankle. So she's feeling rather bruised and battered and she's got one of those like blow up boot ones she hasn't she's not in plaster sort of thing so um yeah my poor mum so I gave her a lot of TLC yesterday so that's that one so if you've got project life cards and you don't do project life anymore this is a great thing I mean you do get quite a few um of the same so that's why I'm covering them up because I don't want loads all the same and plus it's really great for me using up my paper stash because this Sunday because I was um I'm off to a craft show woohoo sorry I I am a bit um over the top with it all because I like I said I have not been to a craft show for just trying to think it's got to be about four years I mean I know I go to craft shops and things which is still really fun but it's just oh I just cannot wait to um go and I'm going with my mum and then some friends are going so we might meet up and like have a cuppa together and stuff so it's going to be really really nice to um just catch up and see each other and stuff I'm just going to make sure I'm still recording because I think I said oh excuse me in one video that I had a bit of trouble. Sorry if you heard that. Um, yes, I apologise. <laughs> Oops a daisy. I don't edit my videos. Um, I just think whatever happens on a video, it is just, you know. Crumbs, that's a thick one. Yeah, these ticket stubs. They're really, um, really good. I've not seen them before. I must, I do keep, um, when I take part in a raffle. I do keep the tickets from that, but I've not seen these before. So it's all these different things I'm going to be looking for, but I want to make a like little um, whole art, um, cluster sort of thing. So I've got quite a few of these that say have a good time, and they're quite fun. So I can pop that there. And then one day I had a day where I popped out a load of these circles. Because I'd like really tiny scraps. I've got loads of them. But they're great to go in the middle of um, flowers, I think. Or, yeah, I like... Oh, I know when I punch them out. When I made those um, circle flowers. I don't know if I'll be doing them any time soon. So I'll pop that one there. And have we got anything small I could just sort of tuck? Oh, yeah. I can tuck that under. I think the rule with the cluster is you have like five things. I think that's sort of seems to be what people do. And what else have we got? This little flower that I cut out, which could could go in there. Yeah, that could go there. 
so yeah grab your stuff grab some dies grab some paper pads uh, some paper you want to use up and even if you haven't got um project life cards um let me just see what size they are uh, right let's get my ruler where have i hidden my ruler oh. so they are seven and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters all in inches they are three three by four so they're a nice little size if you want to make a little mini topper i think they're um, quite a fun little thing if you just want to sit down especially if you're um have trouble sleeping because i know um quite a few people do have that problem and stuff oh I had great fun trying to um I was trying to look in how to do YouTube live so I downloaded um Google Chrome like it asked me to do and did all the steps for that only to find out that it slowed my computer right down and then it said to me again you haven't got Google Chrome and I was like I have got Google Google Chrome. I've just downloaded it. It's taken me two hours to do that. So I took it off and I might look into it again. But at the moment, I um, probably won't be doing YouTube Live. So I've got this cute little fairy and it says life on it. So yeah, let's pop her down. But she needs stuff behind her. So I might cut that in half. get some little dots to put on that yeah don't think of your die as as a whole I used to I used to think oh well that die is that shape so I can only use it like that and as I've been watching people like um Jamie from Poet Spice and things on YouTube I really do sort of oh I can cut that up I could just have such and such from that you know I do try to think outside the box a bit more now. Let me get in there. So I hope you're liking this and stuff. Right, we've got a little flower which can tuck down there. So yeah, I've made myself a little list for um, things that I'd like to hopefully purchase on Sunday. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, I wonder if I put a pearl on here, it should. Ah, oh, that's made it a bit better. That I might just put on there, but I might just put a couple of little, oh, yeah, one in the snowflake, and we'll pop one there. Right, so that's another little one done. I don't want to keep playing with that card. Have I got, oh, I've got something that's already got something on that I could use. Ah ha ha. Right, let's use this. So this is very jazzy. I'm going to use these couple of little tags. So oh, it's got a name and address thing called Unique. Unique. So I'm not sure where they came from. Might have to have a look on um eBay or Etsy or something for them. So let's put that down there. I got the Tim a couple of Tim Holtz paper dolls and I sort of don't want to use them because they're the only two I've got. So um, they're definitely on my list of things. And then there's this camera. What way that way? So yeah, I'm sort of looking at things differently of like. Because I have I suppose my crafting's changed an awful lot over the years. I used to just be like a card maker and now, then I got into the mixed media and then I sort of got into YouTube. So there's loads of different things I see now. Hmm. Um, I might just keep that like that. Yeah, okay. So I'll keep that one like that. Right, we're quite yellowy on this one. So yes, um, some Oh, let's use the rest of this heart up and then I'm not putting that back in the box back in my storage 
Yeah, I do like to have a die cut day sometimes where I just get a load of um, scrap card and just have a good cut out session. It's quite handy for keeping on top of my smaller scraps. Right, so you're going to go there. That's just trying to think. What have I got? Oh, let's move that because otherwise I'll... Um, oh, I've got a twig. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> that was from the bird um, set that I had. So, um, well, I've still got it's a. I really like it. It's got, if I get it, these that you stamp out. So it's a die and stamp set. It's really, it's a really lovely set. I've used it so many times, like for get well, birthday, wedding. It's just one of those sets that you've bought, you know, you sort of might be stuck for an idea and you're like, oh, I can use that. So I've used it quite a few times. Right, so that's going to go there. I don't think I've got a bird to go on it. Let's prop him on there. Okay, that's a bit quirky, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. Like I said, some of these would probably get used um, for my own use. But yeah, I think that's quirky. I think that's what I like about these sort of things in mixed media. There's no set rules with what you have to do. Let's give him a champagne glass as well, shall we? <laughs> you can tell I'm in that mood. Quirky fun mood. Come here. Right, let's just get a little glue dot just to hold the bottom down and then that won't get broken. It's so muggy. Even though it's like really grey out, it's that bright grey. It's just so... Yeah, it's really close out. Almost needs to thunder. I was going to use that side, but... Um, not sure. Let me just see how I'm doing on time. Yeah, I'll probably make this my last one because I don't want to... Um, I'm sure by now you're sick of me making these little... Um, cards but I'm sure I'll do it again and as I said before even after the hundred thing challenge I'm going to really try well I haven't used many buttons have I really try to um have a video up a day yeah so I'm going to try and do that especially now I've got to the 500 um I just feel um, I don't know I can't explain it but it's something that I'd like to do more and the crochet chit chat that's not happening weekly that's just as and when so i know i might have lost some subscribers who were just into the crochet but it will happen it's just um oh, i can't think of the, what i want to say i'm just not sure you know how i'm going to go about things i'm just a bit yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just talking a load of tosh now. <laughs> um, yeah, with my crochet, I'm trying, you know, I don't want to do that weekly. And I think I have to keep um, this channel for what I want as well as keeping like, people happy and stuff. Otherwise, I'll go off things again and I don't want to do that. I don't want to get, I've said before, I don't want to get in that place. And it's another reason why I don't edit my... I'll put some stuff under there. I don't edit my videos. I like them to be how it is and how I am. And you either like me or you don't. You know, I'm not going to stress about it and stuff. But yeah, with the crochet, if I've got a load of stuff that I've finished making or something, then yeah, I'll probably come on and do a video but if I haven't got much to show I can't see the point of me wasting you know um, anybody's time and stuff let's just put a little circle there just because I can so that's why my crochet um, videos went down a bit because I was coming on sort of showing only that I've done a few rows and my life's not that interesting. I go out now and then. I don't, um, I'm not always out and about, so I don't have much to say. It's not like I go to work and, so that's why, 
I've probably got more into my paper crafting again because I'm making something and I chat away with whatever pops into my head as you might have well guessed. Right, that definitely needs a button. Oh, and that's got some thread in it. Because like, um, yeah, some of these buttons used to be my grandma's, some I've got from charity shops and or cut off tops and things. So. Right, so I'm going to leave you because I'm sure you're sick of hearing me now. And I will see you again somewhere. So take care. Bye. Oh, hold on, I'll just do a quick flip of what was already done because I know it's nice to see things closer up. So there's this one I've just done. Uh, my very funny Tim Holtz one. <laughs> um, camera. Little angel. Another flower one. This little heart one. Tweety birds. The heart and flower. And that one. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all again with something else. Someone. Bye.